Okay, so in a previous video, we try to numerically find the limit as x approaches 0 of the tan of x minus x all over x cubed. And we found there was some uncertainty in this result. And I stated to you that the result is actually one third. And in this video, we're going to prove this result. And uh, I have a set of limit laws here handy on the right hand side. But in order to prove this, we're going to need the assistance of L'Hopital's rule. So let's recap L'Hopital's rule. So if I take my fourth limit law here, the limit as x approaches a of a rational function f of x over g of x, for which we can evaluate the limits of the top and bottom separately. Now with L'Hopital's rule, if both the top limit approaches zero or infinity, and the bottom limit approaches zero or infinity, so we have a case of either zero divided by zero, or infinity divided by infinity, so let me write it like that. So we can't evaluate zero divided by zero, and we can't evaluate infinity divided by infinity either. Okay, so be very careful because we can't divide symbols. Infinity divided by infinity is not equal to one because infinity is an undetermined value. So if we have a case where both the top and bottom limits go to either zero or infinity, then L'Hopital's rule states that the limit as x approaches a of f of x over g of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a of the derivative of f of x over the derivative of g of x. Now for our limit, the limit as x approaches 0 for tan of x, this approaches 0 x also approaches 0, and x cubed also approaches 0. So we do have a case here of 0 divided by 0, so we can't evaluate the limit this way. So by L'Hopital's rule, which I'll shorthand write as LH, the limit, I'll write it down again, as tan of x minus x over x cubed is equal to the limit as x approaches 0, so taking the derivative of the top, we have tan differentiates to sec squared x minus 1, x derives to 1, x cubed differentiates to 3x squared. So let's see if this limit now works. So the limit as x approaches 0 of sec squared, let's write down a fifth limit law here. So law number five is the power law. Now let's see what happens on the right hand side here. We have the limit as x approaches zero of the secant of x, which approaches one and one squared is also equal to one. Minus one gives the top equaling zero. As three x squared approaches zero, we also have the bottom go to zero. So we have another indeterminate form. So we'll have to actually apply L'Hopital's rule again. So by L'Hopital's rule, this limit here is equal to the limit as x approaches 0. The limit as x squared minus 1 over 3x squared is equal to the limit as x approaches 0. The derivative of sec squared is equal to 2 by sec squared tan x. And if you're wondering how I got to this result, I'll leave a link in the description or on the top right hand corner here. The number 1 differentiates to 0. 3x squared derives to 6x. So with the constants here, I'm going to bring them out to the front. We can reduce them down to 1 and 3 on the top and bottom anyway. So let's bring them out the front. So we have 1 third by the limit as x approaches 0. Now with sec squared and tan x, I can evaluate the limit 
according to law 3. So I can evaluate the limit separately. So we have the limit as sec squared of x, the limit of x approaches 0 of sec squared of x by the limit as x approaches 0 of tan of x. And I'm going to group the tan of x and the x on the bottom together. So going to the next line, we have 1 third. The limit as x approaches 0 for sec squared x, we've established is equal to 1. Or well, more specifically, it's equal to 1, and then we square it. Now for the limit as x approaches 0 of the tan of x, I can write tan of x as sine of x over the cosine of x. And then we have left 1 on x. So now I can break these into separate limits as well. So let's copy down again. So we've got 1 third by 1 squared, which is still equal to 1 third, by the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 on the cosine of x, by the limit as x approaches 0 of the sine of x over x. Now 1 over the cosine of x, we know that to be the secant of x. So we have 1 third, the limit as x approaches 0 of the secant of x, that goes to 1. And finally the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of x on x, we proved this geometrically in a previous video, that this limit also equals 1. Alright, so if you want to see that, I'll leave a link in the description below for that too. So after all that, we can conclude that the limit as the tan of x minus x, sorry, the limit as x approaches 0 of the tan of x minus x over x cubed is equal to 1 third. Okay, so let's frame this answer. And that shall do it for this video. If it has helped you, please like, share and subscribe. Ask me any questions in the comment section below. I'll do my best to help you. Till next time, best of luck with your math studies and I'll see you on the next video.